In a world long gone, a creature of unparalleled size and power slithered through dense jungles, striking fear into the hearts of even the mightiest predators. Let's transport back in time to an era where giants reigned supreme. Welcome to the mesmerizing world of Titanoball, the largest snake to ever roam the earth. A colossal predator capable of shattering bones with a single squeeze. Titanoball, one of the most remarkable creatures in prehistoric history, captivates our imagination with its immense size and significance. Towering over the competition, it stands out as one of the largest snakes ever discovered. With its classification as a giant serpent firmly established, it remains a testament to the astonishing diversity of life that once thrived on our planet. The allure of this snake lies not only in its colossal proportions, but also in the mysteries it holds within the fossil record, inviting us to explore the secrets of its reign as the ruler of prehistoric jungles. Titanoboa once roamed the lush and ancient tropical forests of South America during the Paleocene Epoch. Its habitat was characterized by dense vegetation, swamps, and warm, humid climates. This giant serpent had a wide distribution within these regions, with fossil evidence indicating its presence in what is now modern-day Colombia, Venezuela, and Brazil. Titanboa's ability to thrive in such environments suggests its adaptability to the diverse ecosystems of its time. Titanboa's anatomy and adaptations make it a truly remarkable creature of prehistory, with its colossal size, reaching lengths of up to 40 feet or more. Tectanobo stands as a testament to the incredible diversity and evolution of ancient reptiles. Its long, muscular body allowed for impressive agility and maneuverability despite its immense weight. The absence of legs, a characteristic of snakes, enabled Tectanobo to move with remarkable grace and stealth through its dense jungle habitat. One of the most notable adaptations of Tectanobo was its ability to constrict and overpower its prey. Its robust body, Reinforced by powerful muscles, allowed it to coil around its victims, exerting tremendous force and effectively immobilizing them. This method of predation enabled Tetanbo to subdue and consume animals that were larger than itself, showcasing its position as a top predator in its ecosystem. In terms of its physical features, Tetanbo possessed a long and flexible spine, enabling it to move with fluidity and contort its body as needed. Its jaw structure, equipped with sharp teeth, was optimized for capturing and swallowing prey whole. With an elongated skull and a wide gape, Titanbo could devour large meals in a single gulp. Titanbo's feeding habits and diet provide fascinating insights into the life of this ancient serpent. As a formidable predator, Titanbo primarily preyed upon small to medium-sized mammals and other reptiles that inhabited the prehistoric jungles. Its large size and incredible strength allowed it to overpower and consume prey that were significant in proportion to its own dimensions. Using its powerful constriction technique, Tetanbo would subdue its victims by coiling its muscular body around them and applying immense pressure. This method allowed it to overpower and immobilize its prey, rendering them defenseless. Once the prey was subdued, Tetanbo would begin the process of ingestion. Being a snake, Titanbo possessed a highly flexible jaw structure, which enabled it to swallow its prey whole. Its sharp teeth, although not suitable for chewing, aided in grasping and securing its food during the initial capture. With an impressive gape, Titanobo could consume prey much larger than its own head size, stretching its mouth to accommodate the meal. The diet of Titanobo likely consisted of a range of creatures, including early mammals such as small hoofed animals and marsupials, as well as other reptiles and birds that inhabited its ecosystem. Fossil evidence indicates that Titan Bow had the capability to tackle prey that weighed several times its own body weight, highlighting its position as a top predator within its environment. Paleontologists have unearthed Titanobo fossils from various locations in South America, particularly in Colombia, Venezuela, and Brazil. The extinction of Titanobo remains a subject of scientific inquiry and speculation. While the exact cause of its extinction is not definitively known, researchers have proposed several theories based on geological and ecological factors. One prevailing theory suggests that changes in the environment and climate played a significant role in the decline and ultimate extinction of Titanobo. During the Paleocene Epoch, the global climate underwent fluctuations, including shifts in temperature and precipitation patterns. Grasslands were home to creatures of immense strength and unrivaled fortitude. In the heart of these ancient landscapes, a true titan ruled supreme. 
Join us on an expedition through time as we delve into fossil discoveries and explore the intriguing theories surrounding its extinction. Dodicurus, an armored behemoth of the ancient grasslands, stands as a fascinating creature with distinct physical characteristics and adaptations belonging to the group of Glyptodons, a now extinct lineage of heavily armored mammals. Dodicurus left its mark in prehistoric ecosystems with its massive size and unique bony armor. Dodicurus captured the attention of researchers and enthusiasts alike. Dodicurus flourished in the grasslands and savannas of South America during the Pleistocene Epoch, providing valuable insights into its habitat and distribution. This armored behemoth roamed the vast expanses of these grassy landscapes, adapting to the diverse environments within its range. From open grasslands to more wooded areas, Dodicurus displayed a level of adaptability that allowed it to thrive in various conditions. Fossil records and paleontological findings have revealed the presence of Dodicurus in regions such as Argentina, Uruguay, and Brazil, showcasing its distribution across parts of South America. Dodicurus boasted a remarkable anatomy and an impressive suit of armor, setting it apart as a unique and well-adapted creature. With a robust and bulky body, it reached lengths of about 13 feet and weighed up to 3,000 kilograms. The most striking feature of Dodicurus was its extraordinary armor, consisting of thick bony plates fused together to form a protective shell covering its back, sides, and tail. These armor plates, known as osteoderms, acted as a shield against potential predators and provided support and rigidity to the creature's body structure. The osteoderms were intricately designed, featuring a mosaic pattern of interlocking plates that allowed for flexibility and movement while maintaining strength and defense. These body plates were also often adorned with spikes or knobs, further enhancing the defensive capabilities of Dodicurus. The tail of Dodicurus was particularly impressive, with a massive club-like structure at the end, composed of several fused osteoderms. This tail club, weighing up to 200 kilograms, was likely used as a formidable weapon to fend off predators or engage in intraspecific combat. Beneath its armored exterior, Dodicurus had a relatively compact and stout body with short but powerful limbs. Its sturdy limbs and specialized feet suggest that it was adapted for a slow and steady gait, enabling it to support its massive weight and navigate the grassland environment effectively. Dodicurus' feeding habits and diet provide intriguing insights into its role in the prehistoric ecosystem. As a herbivorous mammal, Dodicurus relied on a plant-based diet to sustain its massive size and energy requirements. It primarily consumed vegetation, such as grasses, leaves, and fruits that were abundant in the grassland and savanna habitats inhabited. Its specialized teeth and jaws were well adapted for processing plant matter efficiently. With a set of ever-growing incisors and molars, Dodicurus had the ability to continuously replace worn-out teeth, ensuring a functional and effective chewing apparatus. Its incisors were used for cropping vegetation, while the molars were responsible for grinding and crushing plant material. This combination of dental adaptations allowed Dodicurus to extract maximum nutritional value from its food sources. To support its herbivorous lifestyle, Dodicurus likely had a large gut capable of fermenting and breaking down fibrous plant material, similar to other herbivorous mammals. This fermentation process aided in the digestion of tough plant fibers and extraction of nutrients from the plant matter consumed. Additionally, the massive tail club with its fused osteoderms could have been used in defense or for intraspecific combat where individuals competed for resources or mates. One prominent theory proposes that climate change played a significant role in the extinction of Dodicurus. During the late Pleistocene epoch, the Earth experienced significant environmental fluctuations, including shifts in temperature and precipitation patterns. These changes could have resulted in alterations to the grassland habitats that Dodicurus relied upon, potentially leading to habitat loss, reduced food availability, or changes in vegetation composition. Such shifts in the environment could have had detrimental effects on the survival and reproduction of Dodicurus population. Dive into the depths of prehistoric mysteries as we uncover the enigmatic tale of Argelon, the ancient giant of the seas. Join us on an expedition through time, exploring fossil discoveries and unraveling the secrets behind its extinction. The story of Argelon will captivate your imagination and shed light on the remarkable rise and fall of this majestic marine reptile. 
Archelon, an awe-inspiring creature of the ancient seas, captures our imagination with its remarkable size and unique characteristics. As one of the largest turtles to have ever existed, Archelon holds a significant place in the prehistoric world. Belonging to the group of marine reptiles, Archelon mesmerizes researchers and enthusiasts alike with its grandeur and adaptations for life in the ocean. As one of the largest known turtles, Archelon boasted a colossal size, with some individuals reaching lengths of over 13 feet and weighing several thousand pounds. Its body was streamlined and elongated, equipped with powerful flippers that propelled it through the water with remarkable agility. One of the most striking adaptations of Archelon was its impressive shell, which served as a protective armor. Unlike modern turtles, Archelon's shell consisted of large, bony plates called osteoderms that were fused together, providing enhanced strength and rigidity. This robust shell safeguarded Archelon from potential predators and the pressures of the deep-sea environment. Archelon's limbs were modified into flippers, perfectly adapted for swimming and maneuvering in the water. These flippers had elongated and specialized bones, allowing Archelon to navigate the ocean currents and pursue its prey with precision. Along with its strong limbs, Archelon also possessed a powerful neck and jaws, equipped with sharp beak-like jaws that aided in capturing and consuming its marine diet. Another notable adaptation of Archelon was its ability to dive to considerable depths. By manipulating its buoyancy and using its powerful flippers, Archelon could descend to lower depths in search of food or to avoid predators. Its respiratory system was also adapted for prolonged dives, enabling Archelon to remain submerged for extended periods. As a marine reptile, Archelon was primarily a carnivorous creature, preying upon a variety of marine organisms to sustain its massive size and energy requirements. Its diet consisted mainly of fish, mollusks, crustaceans, and other small marine invertebrates. Equipped with a powerful beak-like jaw, Archelon was well-suited for capturing and consuming its prey. It would use its sharp jaws to snatch and tear apart the flesh of its victims. The robust and muscular neck allowed for quick and precise movements, enabling Archelon to strike at its prey with agility. Archelon's hunting strategy likely involved stalking and ambushing its prey. With its streamlined body and strong flippers, it could swiftly navigate through the water, surprising its unsuspecting victims. Once within striking range, Archelon would use its powerful jaws to secure and subdue its prey, ensuring a successful hunt. The feeding habits of Archelon were likely influenced by the availability of prey and the abundance of food sources in its habitat. Changes in marine ecosystems, such as fluctuations in fish populations or ships in the distribution of prey species, may have influenced the feeding patterns of Archelon. While the exact cause of its extinction is not definitively known, Researchers have proposed several theories based on fossil discoveries and ecological considerations. One prominent theory suggests that changes in the marine environment played a significant role in the extinction of Archelon. During the late Cretaceous period, the Earth experienced dramatic environmental shifts, including fluctuations in sea levels and the restructuring of marine ecosystems. Alterations in oceanic conditions, such as changes in temperature, currents, or the availability of food sources, may have had adverse effects on Archelon populations. Shifts in the distribution and abundance of its prey or the disruption of critical nesting habitats could have posed significant challenges for the survival and reproduction of Archelon. Fossil discoveries have played a crucial role in our understanding of the extinction of Archelon. The recovery of fossil specimens and the examination of their distribution patterns have allowed scientists to piece together the timeline and geographic range of Archelon populations. Fossils can also provide insights into the health, growth patterns, and potential signs of stress or disease in Archelon individuals, offering clues about their overall population dynamics and vulnerabilities. Dive into the depths of prehistory as we unravel the mysteries of Megalodon, the colossal shark that ruled the ancient seas. Join us to be captivated by its massive size, fearsome teeth, and the secrets hidden within its fossilized remains. Megalodon, often referred to as the Giant Tooth, was a massive prehistoric shark that once roamed the oceans. It is considered the largest shark species to have ever existed, dwarfing even the modern great white shark in size. With estimates suggesting it reached lengths of up to 60 feet, Megalodon was an awe-inspiring creature that ruled the seas during the Miocene and Pliocene epochs. 
approximately 23 to 2.6 million years ago. Its name, derived from Greek roots, means big tooth, reflecting its most notable feature, the colossal triangular teeth that are often discovered as fossil remains. These teeth can measure over 7 inches in length, significantly larger than any teeth found in today's sharks. Megalodon had a wide global distribution during its existence in the Miocene and Pliocene epochs. Fossil evidence suggests that Megalodon inhabited various oceans and seas around the world. Fossils have been discovered in regions such as North and South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia, indicating that Megalodon had a vast range. While the exact specifics of Megalodon's habitat preferences are still subject to research and debate, scientists believe that Megalodon was a highly adaptable predator capable of inhabiting both coastal areas and open ocean environments. Coastal areas provided an abundance of prey species such as seals, sea lions, dolphins, and other marine mammals that frequented the shores. These areas were likely prime hunting grounds for Megalodon due to the concentration of prey and the strategic advantage of ambushing them from the shallows. On the other hand, Megalodon was also equipped to venture into the deep open ocean, where it could pursue different prey species, including large whales. The vast expanses of the open ocean likely offered Megalodon opportunities to hunt and roam freely. Megalodon was an apex predator, meaning it occupied the top position in the marine food chain during its existence. As a massive shark with formidable size and strength, Megalodon had a voracious appetite and a diet to match. Based on scientific research and analysis of Megalodon's teeth and jaw structure, it is believed that Megalodon primarily fed on large marine mammals. This included creatures such as seals, sea lions, dolphins, and whales. These animals provided abundant energy and nutrients for the massive shark. Megalodon's feeding habits likely involved a combination of ambush tactics and active pursuit. Its large, serrated teeth were perfectly adapted for gripping and tearing through the tough hides and flesh of its prey, with a bite force estimated to be several times stronger than that of a modern great white shark. Megalodon was capable of inflicting devastating damage on its prey. The hunting strategy of Megalodon may have involved stalking its victims from below, using its keen senses to detect vibrations and movements in the water. Once in close proximity, it would deliver a powerful, decisive bite disabling or immobilizing its prey. Megalodon's immense size and strength allowed it to overpower and consume prey of substantial proportions. One theory suggests that changes in global climate, particularly during the transition from the Pliocene to the Pleistocene epoch, played a significant role in Megalodon's extinction. As the Earth's climate cooled, sea levels fluctuated and oceanic currents and temperatures shifted, impacting the availability of prey and altering the marine ecosystems that Megalodon relied upon. These changes may have disrupted Megalodon's food chain and led to a decline in its population. Fossil evidence and scientific research have been instrumental in uncovering and understanding the existence and characteristics of Megalodon. By examining the fossilized remains of this prehistoric shark, scientists have been able to gather valuable information about its anatomy, behavior, and evolutionary history. One of the most significant pieces of evidence comes from Megalodon's teeth. Fossilized Megalodon teeth are relatively common compared to other skeletal remains. These teeth are large, triangular, and serrated, providing insights into the shark's immense size and powerful bite. By studying the shape, size, and wear patterns of these teeth, scientists can estimate the overall dimensions of Megalodon and infer aspects of its feeding habits. In addition to teeth, other fossilized skeletal remains have been discovered, albeit less frequently. These include vertebrae, fin spines, and even some partial jaw fragments. These skeletal elements contribute to our understanding of Megalodon's body structure and provide clues about its evolutionary relationships with other shark species. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey into the world of Megalodon, the ancient giant of the seas. We hope you enjoyed this video.